Hello guys, welcome back. So as we already completed our first three challenges, let's take up our fourth challenge now, which is capture solar bundle details with attributes. So once if you launch your playground, so here in quick find, I'm just gonna search for profiles. So once if you get the result, just click on it. So here I'm just gonna choose as and click on edit next to system administrator. So here just come back and click on S again. So we are gonna click on system administrator itself. So by clicking on control F, we are gonna search for configuration. So if you scroll down, so you will find edit next to configuration attribute. So which is right over here, click on edit. So now I'm just going to shift all of these two records by selecting and clicking on add to selected record type. So once if it is done, click on save. So guys, now again in quick find, I'm just gonna search for install. So that you will get this install packages, just click on it. So here next to Salesforce CPQ, click on configure and go to additional settings. And here we are go gonna enable product option drawer. So once it is enabled, click on save. And now make a click on object manager. So here in quick find, we are just gonna search for product. Here you will get product option which is right over here just click on it followed by fields and relationship and here again in quick fun I'm just gonna search for system and again click on system so guys this is not the exact API name which we are looking for so let's create one again click on fields and relationship so here we are gonna create a new field and relationship click on new so that will be on pick list data type. So let's scroll down and choose pick list over here and click on next. So here choose this enter values with each value separated by a new line. So these two are our pick list value 120 and 240. So either type it or enter it manually. So let's give our field label. So which is system voltage and field name is auto populated which is right over here. So once if it is done click on next followed by next followed by save and new. Again we are gonna make a new pick list. So let's copy our pick list value which is given right over here. And scroll down choose pick list and scroll down and click on next so here choose enter values with each value separated by a new line so copy this correctly and paste it over here so it should be like without comma each and every value should be in a new line so remove comma and give it over here like this and enter our field label as odd color and field name would be auto populated so once if it is done click on next followed by next and followed by save and new and again we are gonna make one more pick list so choose pick list followed by next and copy this value imperial and metric and choose enter values with each value separated by a new line and give it without comma hover here let's copy our field label which is given right over here as measurement standard so just copy this and paste it over here so give it as uppercase so once if it is done field name would be auto populated so now choose next followed by next followed by save
So guys, now again click on this object manager and in quick find search for quote line. So once if you get the result, click on it and click on fields and relationship. So here we are going to create new, click on new. So it will be pick list. So scroll down and choose this pick list and click on next. So here give it as enter value. So I'm just going to type 120 volts and 240 volt over here. So let's give field label as system voltage again. Field name would be auto populator. And now click on next. Followed by next. Followed by save and new. So guys here again choose as pick list. We are gonna do the same step what we have done before. Let's choose this value and give value like how we have given before remove the comma and for field label we are gonna give odd wear color so once if it is done click on next followed by next followed by save and new and now let's copy this imperial and metric so here choose pick list scroll down and click on next and here choose enter value with each value separated by a new line and keep this on new line let's give it as measurement standard so type it and choose this and now click on next followed by next followed by save so guys now again click on object manager so we are gonna search for configuration and make a click on configuration attribute followed by fields and relationship so here we are gonna search target and click on this target field so if you scroll down you will find new next to values just click on new and now give these three values which you can copy from our challenge itself which is right over here here and here so just copy all of these three and now just scroll down and choose this add up and now click on save so guys now let's go to our app launcher followed by salesforce cpq so that you will get this page just click on products followed by solar controller hub and go to related list and here if you scroll down you will find this configuration attribute click on new and click next so guys here give attribute name as system voltage and for target field we are gonna choose system voltage choose this required choose this apply to product option and for row order enter it as 10 so once if it is done click on save so guys now again click on new next to configuration attribute choose global attribute over here click on next so here for attribute name we are gonna give odd pair color and for target field choose order color and now click on save and now again click on new next to configuration attribute choose global attribute over here click on next and give it as measurement standard and choose target field as measurement standard now click on save and guys now if you click on this more you will find attribute sets just click on it followed by new so here we are gonna give hardware details and click on save so guys now again click on more here you will find configuration attribute just click on that here you will find odd way color again make a click on odd way color go to relator 
and next to attribute items click on new so here in attribute set we are gonna include hardware details so once if it is done click on save so for sequence give it as 10 just click on save so we need to review this following field which is configuration attribute for that let's close this and go back to attribute set by clicking on more attribute set so here you will find hardware detail just click on it and go to relator and we are going to click new next to product attribute set so here if you click on product option you will find new product option with plus just click on it so that you will get the screen so here in optional SKU I am just going to search for angled and choose this and here in configured Q angled and again choose this and now give it as 10 for number followed by save so now we are enter sequence as 10 followed by save and guys again click on new next to product attribute set so now click on product option followed by new product option so here we are just gonna add flat so that you will get this flat roof mounting kit so again do the same for here choose it and give number as 20 and now click on save and give sequence as 20 over here and click on save so guys again click on new and choose product option again click on new product option so here we are gonna search for ground and choose ground mounting kit same for configure choose this ground mounting and give number as 30 and click on save and give sequence as 30 click on save so guys now let's click on new next to attribute items so in configuration attribute just make a click and click on new configuration attribute and click next so here in product we are gonna add solar controller hub and for attribute name choose hardware color so for target field let's choose hardware color again so for row order give it as 10 so once if it is done click on save so if you are giving 10 a sequence and clicking on save again it will eat a snack so in order to avoid this let's close this so sorry guys let's go to more and click on configuration attribute so click on new and here choose it as global attribute and then click on next and give attribute name as hardware color so for target field give hardware color and click on save and new so this should be again global attribute click on next so for attribute name give it as measurement standard and for target field choose measurement standard followed by save so once if it is done click on more come to attribute set so click on hardware details and go to related so here click new next to attribute items so now try to give hardware color so guys again I'm doing this if you are not getting hardware color just refresh it once so that you will get this and choose it give sequence as 10 now click on save and new let's do the same for measurement standard so 
here you will get and sequence enter it as 20 followed by save and now let's go back and scroll down and click on verify step so yeah guys we have successfully completed our fourth challenge as well so remaining challenges will be available in the same playlist to check that see you all on next video until then bye bye